the Australian Open tournament director gave his view on banning Russian players. Craig Tiley has discussed the idea of banning Russian players from tournaments in what will come as a clear message to Wimbledon as the All England club makes a decision over whether they will block contenders from Russia and Belarus again this year. The Australian Open tournament director called on tennis to show more support for Ukraine but said he didn't support a ban on Russians. Talk over Russian flags has dominated the Australian Open in recent days after Novak Djokovicstad was seen posing with a group of protesters who were able to sneak them in alongside ZT shirts on Wednesday. It came after all Russian and Belarusian flags were banned following day one of the tournament, when one was clearly visible during a match between Ukraine's Katerina Baindel and Russian Kamila Rakimova. The Australian Open tournament director has now explained organizers' decision to move quickly to ban the flags following that match as he called for more support for Ukraine, but he also strongly opposed the idea of banning Russians as he urged others to remember that they were also human and condemned the war. On Monday, there was a fan who placed a Russian flag right over the court where there was a Ukrainian player playing and we wanted to protect the Ukrainian player in that instance, Craig Tiley said. It didn't take long, we said well, we gave you a chance, like we do with everything, we gave you an opportunity, we had confidence in good behavior, you didn't do it, so we banned the flags. And the Tennis Australia CEO also explained that it wasn't a surprise to see some attempt to make a political statement on site but was quick to note that nearly 100% of people had behaved just fine. He continued, the thing I've come to realize year on year with this event is it has such a global significance. That it does become a platform for people to attempt to be disruptive or to make a political statement. This year's Australian Open is the first since Russia invaded Ukraine last February, and the Aussie Open boss also called on the tennis world to show more support to Ukrainians as he admitted he didn't understand the full extent of their struggle until this fortnight. I would like the tennis world to support the Ukrainian athletes more. Because I spend a lot of time with the Ukrainian athletes and I actually learn a lot about their situation as well, Tylee added. And the biggest thing is that no Ukrainian can go home. They've got no home to go to, so when they're traveling around the world to play tennis, they just have to go to the next city to play tennis. And the other athletes, we can all go home, so I think we've got to all be more conscious of that and I would like the tennis world and maybe other sports, every week where there is a Ukrainian athlete, that tournament should support that athlete financially all the way through until the next week. I think that would be a really great thing for sport to do and I would be encouraging our sport to do it, we did it for the three weeks they were here.